Hello gang, Ruffle Bricks here with a quick little tutorial on how to do the most fun mission in Worms World Party, Bungie Fun. We know it's the most fun mission because it's got the word fun in the title and none of the other missions do. This is the 41st mission in the game and this one can be a little bit difficult due to the fact that it is entirely Bungie oriented but hopefully with these little tips and hints that I'm going to give you will be the life and soul of your swingers party. So the object of this mission is you need to collect 12 crates whilst you are on a bungee. The last of these crates will contain a couple of homing missiles which you'll need to kill off the two secret agents on the battlefield. These crates spawn in a fixed order so knowing how to do the movements is pivotal to this one. So let's go through it crate by crate. The first crate spawns directly above your worm, so you can just let it fall onto your worm's head and grab it that way. But we're going to do a vertical jump using backspace in order to collect it. In terms of the timing, just start your jump about half a second after your turn time starts. If you start it too early, then you'll actually miss the crate. But if you just wait half a second before starting the jump, then you should grab it fine. Whilst you are jumping, also make sure that you press F8 as this is the hotkey to set the bungee utility which you'll need to use for the remaining crates in the mission. Note that the bungee is not pre-selected for your worm so if you do fall off your platform without selecting the bungee then you will just fall into the water and die. Now the second crate spawns slightly to your worm's left and what you want to do with this one is you just want to wait until the crate is about level with your worm and then just drop down off of the platform that you're on and the bungee will activate and you'll collect the crate. Now to make sure that you're using the bungee effectively for this strat, what you need to do is when your worm is going down on the bungee you want to press down and when your worm is going up on the bungee you want to press up. If you keep alternating between those then you will be at full bounce for the entirety of the use of the bungee. Now crate number three here spawns a little to the left of the second crate so you'll notice what I do here is I do a light swing to the right first as I'm waiting for the crate to drop and then that gives me enough momentum to swing over to the left to grab this crate. In terms of the horizontal swings, at this point you do not want to be doing anything too heavy. You just want it to be a light swing in each direction in order to guide you over to the crate. Another thing that you'll notice is the position that I am grabbing the crate in is just below this gradient line on the striped background that I've got here. This is a good sign as to whether your worm is in the correct place or not, as I'm going to be using the gradient line to explain when you should be grabbing a couple of the upcoming crates as well. Now crate number four here just spawns slightly to the right of your starting platform and I just try and centralize my worm slightly here by pushing left as I reach the center of my swing here. This just brings me back a little bit so I've got a little bit more momentum to then grab this fourth crate. And once again as you're doing this do make sure that you are still alternating between down and up as your worm goes down and up just to ensure that the bounce is as high as it can be and here you'll see we grab this crate again just as it's on this gradient line that I mentioned before now this next crate here crate number five is very important because this is where we are going to start changing our horizontal swing on the bungee because some of the upcoming crates have a pretty wide spread to them so we need to actually get a wide swing going so you notice what I do with this fifth crate here is as I'm on the downward bounce here, I am retreating once again to the center underneath the starting platform. And then as the crate drops, as we go into the upward bounce, I will then hold right. And that will ensure that we grab the crate again on the same background gradient line that we got the previous crate on. And as we grab this crate, what I now do is I'm now going to hold down and right so that my worm goes as far to the lower right as possible on the swing. At this point we're going to start doing the large swing back and forth to be able to get the remaining crates. And the way that we do this is as we swing to the left here we're going to hold up and left and then when we get to the apex of this swing we are then going to hold down and left so that we go as far down and left as possible. 
With crate number six here, as you can see, this spawns on the left side. And the way that this swing is going to work is that we're actually going to miss the crate on our initial swing to the left. But then, as you can see, we then grab it on our swing back to the right. So don't panic if you miss that initially. That's very important to this strat. So now we are holding up and right to swing back to the right hand side and then down and right once we reach the apex so that we can get another big swing going to the left. And basically now what you want to do for uh, almost the entirety of the rest of this is you now want to keep alternating between the up left and down left swing and then the up right and down right swing. And this will ensure then that you get crates number seven and then number eight and then number nine and then number ten so you actually end up getting this whole bunch of crates with that same method there this is important because if you don't start doing the big swing at the time that i do it it can be much harder to transition between the smaller swings that you're doing earlier on and then the giant swing that you need to get these spaced out crates later on and now for crate 11 here, you'll notice this one spawns directly in the middle. Now note here, if you continue with your swing by holding up and left, you will actually miss this crate. So now what you need to do is you need to start shortening the swing. As you start swinging up and left, what you want to actually do is hold up and right. And this will actually curtail your momentum enough to grab that central crate. And then the final crate, which contains the homing missiles. This will spawn just slightly to the left of the crate that you've just grabbed. For this one, you just want to, again, go kind of against the direction of the crate. So you want to hold up and left for this one instead of uh, up and right. And there you have now grabbed the homing missiles. And then to finish off this mission, what you need to do is just hit the F1 hotkey to select your homing missile. And then for the first one, I choose to go with the secret agent on the right here. Set your crosshair so that it is around about here. You don't want to set your crosshair directly on the enemy worm because if you do this, then there is a high chance that the homing missile will just circle around the enemy worm and not actually hit them. But if you set your crosshair here, what will happen is the homing missile will try to circle around the crosshair and it will knock the enemy worm into the water as a result and then use the exact same principle on the secret agent on the left here just set your crosshair around about that distance to knock them in and then as you have done the second homing missile just dismount from the bungee and fall into the water because this is one of those missions where the game doesn't really care if your worm survives they just need you to kill off the enemy worms and that is that so let's just put this all together in one go so Start off with a vertical jump about half a second in and then select your bungee, drop down to the left, just start swinging a little bit to the right there and then swing back to the left to grab the second crate. Then centre yourself here, then swing a little bit to the right here to grab the third crate, centre again, then right to grab the fourth and now start doing the big swing here back and forth in order to grab all of these remaining crates until you see a crate spawn in the very centre then when you do that, hold to the right and then hold to the left on this last swing in order to curtail your momentum and then just fire off the homing missiles like so. And that is how you have bungee fun. Thank you for watching. This tutorial is over.